Hi, it's Bonnie. I'm uh, walking through the woods on my way back home. I think you can hear frogs. But um, I wanted to do a video about um, like a spiritual, more spiritual um, herbalism video, if that's okay. Um, I believe plants are beings, just like we are. Uh, look into animism more for more information about this, but um, plants are more than um, just here to um, be a service for us, right? They're beings in um, my belief. And with that means that you can um, communicate with them. So, and you should communicate with them, especially um, before you harvest. So, it can be as simple as just saying out loud or in your head, you know, um, is it okay if I harvest you for this, this, and this? <laughs> Hang on. And will you hear a yes or no out loud? Probably not. Um, this is more of like an intuitive felt sense. And this can be a little much for people or a little uh, woo-woo, but the first time you get a hard no in your body from a plant or a tree or whatever it is, um, it's pretty, it can be pretty profound. So I like to educate about this as a step for um, when I'm talking about harvesting and identifying plants. Um, it, the plants don't fit in a box, right? I've talked about this. And just because they are natural or from the earth does not mean that they can't do harm to your body, okay? Um, there are toxic plants, there are poisonous plants, there are plants that can just really um, not serve your constitution, which um, is more of an energetic thing that I'll do a separate video on. But for a short example, say that you are uh, somebody with a constitution that's really hot and dry, and you eat a lot of cayenne or something that's really hot. That um, is just going to aggravate your constitutional um, dryness. So that, and also, you know, um, plants, just because they're natural, doesn't mean that they won't interact with your um, pharmaceuticals if you're on any. So um, there are lots of situations where plants can affect how you metabolize um, pharmaceuticals and that could affect your health negatively if those pharmaceuticals are really important for your body. So asking a plant if you can harvest it and use it is a good way to tap into information about your well-being that you may not even be aware of and the plant might know a little bit better than you. Um, sitting and communicating with a plant um, can be as simple as like a meditation, you know? Sit quietly for like 20 minutes minimum with um, a plant or tree or animal, you know? And Listen to what they have to say to you. Again, this is gonna come as like thoughts. You'll probably hear this as thoughts um, and get this information as thoughts. It takes time to develop. Everybody has their own way of communicating. 
but again, look into animism. These plants and animals and rocks and rivers and all the things have, they communicate with us and you have, but you have to be still and you have to be quiet to hear it. Um, so that's just a little tidbit about plant communication and more spiritual approach. Um, lots of people have stories about the plants telling them how to use them in ways that we don't have written down in books. Um, so it behooves us to sit down and be quiet and make friends with the plants and to make relationships that aren't just us taking. Um, so how can you be reciprocal? Can you um, plant a plant in your garden instead of taking from it in the wild? Can you pick up trash in its surrounding area? Can you tend to the land somehow? Um, can you educate people on ethical harvest? Things like that. Reciprocal relationship with the plants and the earth is our goal. Um, and it's more important now than it ever has been.